evening friends okay today we are going to discuss about reading part 8 oet 2.0 occupation english test sub test reading part 8 what is the expected grade back a, uh, a numerical yes. score is 450 to 500 in reading part a Yeah, if you are, if you want to score the four fifty to five hundred, we have to uh, score out uh, of eighteen uh, out of twenty in reading part A. What is the mis a great mistake targeting D? So we have to always target four fifty to five hundred. Okay, in reading part A, there are four texts. It is A to D, A, B, C, D in one thing. That is uh, like a definition, clinical assessment, diagnosis, management, monitoring. That uh, like that uh, paragraphs will come. Twenty questions we have to complete in fifteen minutes. Greatest challenge of any is our time. Expectation and fast reading is most important in reading part B. How to complete our uh, part A in ten minutes? There are uh, some tips. Begin with a skim, general idea for a question one to seven. Tip two: Focus of each text. Skim for clues like title, section heading, subheadings, names, numbers, percentage, sequential expression. Frequency expression, scale, adjectives, negative expression, abbreviations. For us, twelve uh, steps are there in the skill platform that are identify the four text headings and write down in a piece of paper. Second, uh, understand the relationship and sequence among the text headings. Skim the four texts, highlight the clues for uh, what a title, section, heading, subheadings, names, number or percentage, sequential expressions, frequency expressions, scale, adjectives, negative expressions, abbreviations. Fourth one, read the question statements and highlight the etching words. Read the questions. Statements and match the text. Sixth one, write down the hedging words, identify them in the questions. Seventh, arrange the hedging words into four columns. Confirm the one to seven answers and locate the answers and write the answers in the answer booklet. proof reading is must we have to do and finally we have to fill the self assessment form that is uh, daily uh, together the task they are yeah, uploading in our main platform so today's topic is sedation identify the four text headings and write down a piece of paper So uh, today's topic uh, it is about uh, procedural sedation, levels of sedation, drug administration, and class of drug. Understand the relationship and sequence. We have to skim the text for text for what? In the uh, text A, what are we can? Uh, Identity skin. So here we can see procedural sedation and analysis here for adults in emergency department. So I have gave here no heading. So I gave procedural sedation. In that we can see uh, we can see here emergency department distressing. Then your drug name is there. Then uh, scale is there. Contrast for this there. So we have to. Underline it. In second text, text B, levels of sedation. 
here we can see that uh, levels of sedation are described by American Society of Anesthesiologists. So here types are the non dissociative sedation and dissociative sedation. So here under that minimal sedation and analgesia, moderate sedation and analgesia, deep sedation and analgesia, general anesthesia. Here uh, scale is there, mild, then uh, some device name is there, ventilator, then procedure name is there, here also procedure name, disease condition is there. So we have to underline in text C, drug administration and general principles. Here, some person, percent, uh, percentage is there, we have to underline. Then uh, model verb is there, sequential expression. So we have to underline that. In text D, the classes of drugs means uh, each and all drugs and their and uh, dosage and advantages and cautions that which all cautions we have can take. So these uh, four texts are like this: text A procedural sedation, text B levels of sedation, text E drug administration, text D class of drugs. In part A. Only 15 minutes will be there for uh, to write the complete our party. Look at the four text A, B, C, D in a separate booklet. For each question 1 to 20, look through the text A, B, C, and D. To find the relevant information, write your answers on the space provided by question paper. Answer on the question within 15 minutes time limit. And you should write correct spelling. Uh, you must uh, copy paste from the what is there in uh, booklet. We have to transfer into uh, text. Read the question statements. Highlight the hedging words. In each question one to seven, decide which text the information comes from. You may use in which text you can find the information about. Here, one to seven questions. The hedging word in this question, the point at which any necessary pain relief should be given. So here we have to see the uh, keywords. Means which one we have to make we have to see that. Then uh, second one, the benefits and drawbacks of specific classes of drugs. Here benefits and classes of drugs. So we can directly we can go there classes of drugs. So it is easy to understand the text. Third one financial consideration when making decision about sedation. So here sedation comes under which uh, text we have to see that one. Typical procedure carried out under the various sedation level. So here also levels is there. So we can understand, easily we can understand which text we have to see that one. Measures to be taken to ensure a patient's stability under sedation. Measures to be taken here is patient stability under sedation. A reference to Research into alternative sedation agents. Here also, sedation agents, we can see which step. Patient levels of sensory awareness when sedated. Here, levels of sensory awareness. So, we can see that first question comes under part A. So, second one, the benefits of drawbacks of specific classes of drugs comes under text D. When financial consider consideration when making decision about sedation comes under text A. Typical procedure carried out under the various sedation levels text B. Measures to be taken ensure patient's stability under sedation comes under text C. 
a reference to research into alternative sedation agents comes under text A. Patient's levels of sensory awareness when sedated comes under text B. Question 8 to 14. Answer the each question 8 to 14 with a word or short phrase. From one text to each answer may include words, numbers, or both. The eighth question is What classes of drugs is traditionally administered together with opioids for the purpose of procedural sedation? Here, administered together means uh, we have to. Check that one. In text, they are given like. In here, in text, they gave all the combination of benzodiazepine and opiates have generally been used for procedural sedation. In a question statement, they given administered together. Here in uh, answer uh, booklet, they give a combination of here. We have to see that synonym word of administered together. So answer is Benazada Pi. Ninth one is what level of sedation is appropriate for changing worm basin? So here we have the keyword levels of sedation. So we can directly, we can go there. In a text to be, you can see. Here it is there. Minimal sedation and analgesia. Essential. Uh, mild and uh, anoxylasis or pain control. Patient respond normally to verbal commands. Example of appropriate use. Changing burning risk. So here we can see that minimal sedation and analgesia used for changing burns dressing. Fifteenth one, sorry, fifth one. Tenth one is. What is the only emergency department procedure for which it is appropriate to general anesthesia? So here we have to see which which text it is there in text B. We are, uh, we can see here. What is the only emer emergency department procedure for which is appropriate use of general anesthesia? So here it is there. General anesthesia so heading. We can see here not appropriate for general use in, in the emergency department. Only for emergency intubation we can use. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, why didn't we move to text A when uh, the question is about procedure anesthesia? Uh, why are we moving to levels of anesthesia? For this question. Okay, one second. You are telling that it is there in text A. Uh, actually, ma'am, they are in a question. There okay. is a, a keywords uh, uh, general anesthesia. So that's why we are moving to text B. This is the reason. There is a text B. They are mentioned uh, emergency intubation only uh, for a general anesthesia. Yes. Yes. This is the reason. General anesthesia. But the uh, text A also has this section heading of procedural sedation and emergency. 
so uh, i think they both are confusing uh, for text a and text b yes because of that only confusion we have to see that subheadings so here general anesthesia given in text b okay now it's clear okay ma'am yeah it is in b only b yeah when we are skimming we have to see that subheading also not only for main heading we have to see subheadings what and how comes under that uh, paragraph okay yes ma'am are you clear right okay 11th one what procedure may be carried out under dissociative sedation so it is there in text to be we can see here subheading dissociative sedation here Exposure of example of appropriate use is fracture reduction. Is it clear, yes, right? ma'am? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next question: What class of drug is unsuitable for patients who have a history of psychosis? So we have to see in text D here. We have to see cautions, so we can see that avoiding patients with history of psychosis may cause nausea and vomiting. Here, penicillin is the answer. Ma'am, here we will write uh, class. Uh, yeah. What class yeah. of drugs? So. Yeah. What class of drug? We have to check it is in text. Do you know? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Next question: What opioid drugs should be administered using specific equipment? So this one also comes under text Just D. D. Yes. Here, see here. Ramifentanil is the difficult to use without an infusion pump. In text uh, question, they ask uh, uh, given like this: What opioid drug administered using specific equipment? So we can answer it. Remy fentanyl. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Uh, here yes, they ma use uh, specific uh, synonym. Yeah. Infusion Yes, they have given. Like they they told like that difficult to use without an infusion pump. The infusion pump is equipment, right? Clear, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next one is fourteen. What is the maximum over overall dose of midazolam which should be given? Here, maximum over overall dose of midazolam. So we have to check it. Text D. Here they get small dose of 0 0.02 to 0.3 mg per kg until clinical effect achieved. Repeat dosing of 0 0.5 to 1 mg with total dose of 5 mg. So answer is 5 mg. Yeah. Question. Fifteen to twenty. Complete the, complete each of the sentence with the word or short phrase from the text. Each answer may includes words, numbers, or both. So, next fifteen question is: The majority of sedative drugs are administered via the dash. So, we have to see in text A. Here we say the. Intravenous route is generally most predictable and reliable method of administering most agents. So, answer is intravenous or IV. We can write IV also. Next question. General anesthesia is the one form of sedation under which patient may have reduced. Here, the keyword is general anesthesia form of sedation. So we can see here it comes in the text B. So 
the patient has no powerful response to even repeated painful stimuli airway and ventilator support is usually required cardiovascular function may also be impaired here general anesthesia is a form of sedation under which patient may be have reduced cardiovascular function next question patient under minimal sedation will react if they are given dash so here keyword is under minimal sedation so we can see in text b, b. yeah here it is there minimal sedation and essentially mild anaphylaxis or pain control patient response normally to verbal uh, commands uh -huh. so we can see here answer is verbal commands 18 one is care should be taken when administering etomatic to patients who are likely to have dash here drug name is there no so we can see in classes of drugs here it is uh -huh. there caution may cause pain on injection nausea omitting caution when using in patient with seizures seizures disorder disorder epilepsy, epilepsy. okay so answer is सेडेशन सो हिवर्ड इज लेवल levels is yes ma'am capnography also is there it is useful sedation. helpful yes moderate sedation capo yes so here text so what our oh, text is c see yeah here it is there it is moderate sedation again text c when it's moderate sedation it is level of sedation so no no sorry this is a drug administration it is there here it is the bracket also monitoring of the concentration of partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the respiratory gases why it is using so you are monitoring the concentration or partial pressure of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide yes so answer is gases carbon, carbon dioxide, dioxide. <laughs> yeah Twentieth one is fentanyl, morphine, and midazolam. Each have a dash which is used to to can cancel out the effect of drugs. So we will go uh, text D. Text D. D D text D. Yes. Morphine, fentanyl, midazolam. Yes. What is this? Here it is there. Mm. advantages in that reversal age yes so answer is reversal, reversal agent. agent reversal agent okay last one is finished right yeah. yes ma'am finished no thank you ma'am so we read the question statement that match the text so here yes it is there First, uh, first question also. Yeah, then eighth one, sixth question, third one comes under text A. Okay. Here also is the then subsection text four. Question number four it is there. Then seventeen uh, question. Nine. Ninth one is there. Seven, sixteen, eleven. Yes. Then your nineteenth one is there. Then fifth one is yes, there. Nineteen. Capnography. Yes. Here in the uh, text D, second question, tenth one, twelfth one, thirteenth one is there. 
14th one is there 20 20 yes 18th one is there 21 is there. so any doubt no ma'am mm -hmm. thank you so much yes, thank you Thank you, Anita, Thank you. for the wonderful session. Thank you. Hope it is understood to everybody.